So now let's talk about image cleanup and regeneration. So here's one image that I have with a lot of text and I want to just remove all the text because text is not allowed on sponsored brand headline ads. So I use this eraser tool from Dolly and then just give it a prompt to generate the missing parts, which is kind of cool. So it just does that and it cleans it up, like it removes everything easily. And then the problem with this image was that, you know, it was not meeting the bar for 1280 by 720 pixels mm -hmm. that Amazon needs for sponsored headline ads. So you use this tool, it's called replicate.ai and replicate.ai will take an input and you can say, I want 2X quality, 3X quality, 4X quality. You can say whatever you like and then it kind of enhances the image now for those who are watching this if you compare the left and the right if you look really closely you'll, you'll be able to tell that the right side is way sharper than the left and you can tell right so the quality is so much better and it meets the the criteria for uh, a sponsored brand a headline ad and so this is the way to kind of upscale your low quality low res photos and make them usable now the the dolly that you're using there to fill in the gaps of an image after you kind of just wiped out what you didn't want with an eraser is that you have to do that directly on dolly or is that possible to do through chat gpt yeah i definitely need to do it through dolly because you know you need that uh, eraser tool that's only available in the dolly interface and then the prompt is just in dolly gotcha i thought maybe you opened it and you know like paint it mm -hmm wiped it out, but you did that directly in Dolly. Yes, I did it in Dolly. Yeah. Mm -hmm. Okay. Very good. Yeah. Cool. So here's another example of how I converted a square image to a landscape with uh, AI fillers. Again, I uploaded a square photo to Dolly and then mm -hmm. I asked it to widen and generate the missing parts. So for anyone who's uh, watching this, you can see that this woman's face was actually cut off in half and this completed the image. It, it figured out what was missing and it figured out the ambience of the background and it kind of expanded it out. Very beautifully done. Yeah, yeah. I mean, that's not bad. It looks maybe a little bit funky-ish. If you look, just because I know that it was generated maybe, but just looking at that quickly, it looks really nice. Yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah. Cool. So yeah, so this is the final image after it generated the missing parts. Yeah. Yeah. And the background is really cool. I, you know, the side yeah. of her face, I think, is dented in a little bit more than it probably should be. But aside yeah. from that, like it filled in the trees in the background and the sky and everything. And that all looks really nice. Right, right. Yeah. Cool.